in this recording I'll show you um, the basics of programming um, and how to move a rectangle around on the screen. Um, so first up, here's where your code's going, and the first code is about making a rectangle. That's why it says R-E-C-T, because that's the code for rectangle. After that, it has some numbers, which is basically the, the dimensions of the rectangle. Um, and if you press the green button here, what it'll do is it'll actually take this code and then it'll display it here in what's called the canvas. And the canvas is, um, is 400 by 400 pixels. So it starts at the top here, the top left. So this is zero, zero comma zero. And then if you went to the bottom here, this would be 400 comma 400. All right, so right now it says 10 comma 20. So when we press play, it's going to draw it. And it was already in that spot. So if you take a look here, it is 10 comma 20. You can see that it matches these numbers here. Now, what's the 10? What's the 20? Well, the 10 is how far away it is from the left over here. So it's 10 pixels in from the left. And then the 20 is, it's 20 pixels down from the top. So it's kind of like using um, a graph paper. It's kind of like using um, you know, your, your graphing skills, only we're starting kind of at this spot here and everything goes down and to the right from it. The other two numbers have to do with how large the actual rectangle is. So this rectangle is going to be 30. Now 30, that's moving from left to right, so you could think of that as the width. So it's going to be 30 wide, and then it's going to be 40 down. So that'll be kind of the height of it. It'll be 40 um, pixels. So it'll be 30 by 40. So the idea here is, all right, if we're starting at the top here, and we're going down 20 to start the actual box, and then down another 40, well, what's the grand total of those two measurements together? 20 plus 40 gives you 60. And that's why here, the, um, the second number is it's 10 by 60, because it's adding those two things together. All right. The same thing's true going the opposite way. So we're moving over 10 right here. So we're going from the left, we're moving right 10. And then we said that, all right, the width of it is going to be, um, it's going to be 30. So that's the first number here. So we go from 10 to 30. So 10 plus 30 gives us 40. So this 40 that's down here represents 10 plus 30, the combination of those two. Now we can change these numbers. So let's move it over. Um, so for this one, right now there's a, it's over by 10. If we change this to 100, it's going to move the whole rectangle over by 100. And you can see it moved over there. And then if we want to move it down, we can change this to 200. And now it's going to move it down 200. So now we have it over by 100 and then down by 200 here. All right, and then to check our other numbers, we can change these as well. We can make this uh, 60. All right, you can see it made it a little wider. And then we can make this one 80. And that's going to make it go a little further down. And then to figure out kind of like how that changed the other dots over here, the other corners of it, um, we can take a look at, all right, so this was 100. All right, it's 100 over, OK? And then after that 100, you then you have to add the width into it. And the width, again, is that third number. So if we go from here to this dot, it'll be 60, 160, because it was moved over by, by 60 there. All right, so that's the 160. And now we're going down 200, and then another 80. So then we get down here, it's going to be 280. And that's a little bit on the programming of, of how this works. Um, while you're doing this, the programming, you could always reset it by obviously clicking the reset button. Um, and that'll bring your, your whatever you're working on back to normal. Um, and they also give you some hints in here with the green. Whenever you see kind of like this hashtag and then a space here, this is actually a pound symbol. Um, and what it is is this is called comments. So they'll give you a little bit of um, information in here on things to try. So for example, it says edit these numbers and wrote, run this code a few times. So we could change these to a whole bunch of different things and see what happens. Now these are going to be really big numbers, so it might come off of our canvas. And as you can see, it's so large here that it doesn't even fit on the canvas there. Okay.